Hi, I'm Meech, and joining me today is Gaston. Welcome to your bar tip of the week. Today we're going to be demonstrating the short spine stretch. So I'm going to ask Gaston to lie on his back. With the crown of his head closest to the bar and his feet furthest away from the bar. Now you need quite a lot of tension on the band, so we suggest that you move a little bit further away from the bar to get sufficient tension in the band. Taking each band and then looping each band around the ankle, pointing your toes, squeezing your legs together, straightening your legs down to a 45 degree angle. That's your starting point with this exercise. The movement itself, bring your legs to 90 degrees, peel your spine off the mat, sending your tailbone straight to the ceiling. Plie your feet, bend your knees down to a frog-like position no wider than your shoulders. Then slowly, pushing down through your hands, rolling down through your back. Once your tailbone touches the mat, sending your legs back out to a 45 degree angle. Let's now layer on the breathing because we know that breath can facilitate movement. So it goes like this. Inhale to 90 degrees. Exhale to peel off the mat into a shoulder stand. Inhale to plie down into the frog position. Exhale to roll your spine back down onto the mat and then driving your legs out. There are two common faults with this exercise. The first common fault I'm not going to ask Gaston to demonstrate because it's not safe. But we typically see people rolling too far over and landing on their neck. Try to stay off your neck and only go as far as the midpoint between your two shoulder blades. The second common fault I am going to ask Gaston to demonstrate. So he peels up, bends his knee, and what we typically see is this collapse of the knees to the chest. This puts too much flexion into the back and takes the work away from the core. So how do we fix this? Drive your knees up, maintain that space between your knees and your chest. Scoop through the belly button, keep the equidistance of that space as you roll down vertebrae by vertebrae through the spine and then send your legs away. There's obviously a multitude of benefits to this particular exercise. First, you lengthen and strengthen your hamstrings. You also lengthen through your lower back. And there's a lot of core control because you're required to scoop, scoop, hollow out your abs as you're controlling the cascading down of your spinal column onto the mat. You get some lovely spinal mobility and spine articulation and obviously it is a coordination challenge. So we recommend you grab a friend, practice the short spine stretch before your next bar class and don't forget, stay tuned for the next bar tip of the week.